What is up everyone? It is digital host AJ Wiest here with Sheriff Ron Puckett. Ron Puckett works at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office and tomorrow there is a big event at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office, the Law Enforcement Torch Run for the Special Olympics. It starts tomorrow at 9.30, but Sheriff, thank you so much for joining in with me My today. pleasure, thank you for having us. Yes, sir. So are you ready for this run? Oh yeah, we're good, we're ready. Yes, sir, absolutely. Um, and can you talk just a little bit about this annual run and how it benefits the Special Olympics? So this is a yearly event that happens this time about every year where law enforcement in the state of Alabama gathers together to support the Special Olympics. So there's different legs. We're part of the North Alabama leg. The North Alabama leg runs, begins in the morning here in Huntsville and then they will go to Athens and then they'll come to Decatur. So it's law enforcement gathering together uh, to, to bring awareness to the Special Olympics. Absolutely, and the run it will be dedicated to Chief Ed Taylor, who sadly passed away a week ago. And Chief Taylor, I understand, was a huge advocate for the torch run. Yes. Uh, what was your experience like with Chief Taylor? So Chief Taylor, many years ago, uh, as an officer within the Decatur Police Department, brought uh, most of Morgan County's attention to the Special Olympics and the torch run. His son is a Special Olympics, is a special needs adult child now, uh, but he has been involved in the, uh, the Olympics. And Chief Taylor brought the Olympics to North Alabama, at least the torch run, many years ago. And he uh, was really involved with Special Olympics and because of his involvement, wanted law enforcement because it was a national trend. The, the law enforcement torch run was a national trend. So he brought that to North Alabama. And uh, because of that, uh, involvement, all Morgan County law enforcement now is involved with the torch run and we've done this for many many years probably I'm not sure how many years but for many many years we have done the torch run because of Chief Taylor's involvement with Special Olympics. Yeah, Absolutely and uh, what do you think kind of inspired Chief Taylor to um, I guess establish the torch run in Morgan County? Well I think it certainly had a lot to do with his son Lane who is a special needs adult child now. Uh, because of that he knows of the needs of the Special Olympics so uh, it, it is very important to, it was very important to him and because of that he brought the awareness to us so his love for that really extended now, extends now to most of the law enforcement still within the city of Decatur and Morgan County Sheriff's Office and all law enforcement in Morgan County really supports the torch run and that's what tomorrow will be. It will be, will be our leg, the Morgan County leg of the torch run and we are dedicating that run to him tomorrow, uh, that leg, the Morgan County leg to Chief Taylor in his honor and in his memory. That's awesome. Yes sir. Super great to hear. Uh, what would you say your favorite part of the run is? Well, the favorite part of the run actually is the run because yeah. all you know, there's really not a lot of preparing for it. We just, you know, it's a yearly event. It's annually this time of the year, every year, uh, almost coincides with our National Law Enforcement Week. So uh, we we do this run every year, and it really is the fun part is the run. When you That's gather, it. you can see the picture behind us. Uh -huh. When you gather these guys together and running for. It's a short distance, it's only a mile, right. but you're running together for a common purpose, which is in support of the Special Olympics. And that really is the best part, getting to see all of the people. Some of you don't see because we all don't work together. We're yeah. all different agencies. So getting together, running together for one purpose is always a good thing. And uh, is this like a competition between officers? Like, uh, is it for bragging rights? Well, exactly. it's it really, again, when you bring a bunch of law enforcement together who have the uh -huh. top A personality, it is always going to be some competitiveness. Uh, although tomorrow, the run, uh, you know, several people want to finish first, uh -huh. but a lot of times we have uh, this, uh, a special needs uh, Olympiad running with us. We want them to always be in front holding the torch if they can or as much as they can, and we don't want to pass them. So as much as we would want to be very competitive and and uh, make it a race. It's really not a race. It's really all about bringing awareness to our community. Mm -hmm. and that's why we run downtown Decatur about to bring the, the awareness to the community about the Special Needs Olympics. Very cool. And can you speak a little bit more on the Morgan County community? So, you know, the more, uh, as far as the 
the, just the community? The community, like the people out there. Uh, what can you say about that? Well, Warren County is a great place to live. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a great place to serve. I enjoy serving uh, the, the, the citizens of Warren County. We are a great community that really loves being a part of Warren County. You know, we, our violent crime rate in the county is very, very low, almost any violent crime really. So most of our citizens love sports, they love our school system, and they really love their communities, uh, and they really get behind events. Yes, sir. And we, you know, we, we appreciate them getting behind this event, and most of them do, but Morgan County is a great place to raise your family, and it's an awesome place to work. Yes, sir. And I understand you grew up in Hartzell. Yeah, I grew up in Hartzell. I was, a, I was in the law enforcement. I was the chief of police there for 12 years, but I was in law enforcement there for 30 years. Uh, so uh, Hartzell is a great place as well. You know, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a great community to, to be a part of. I loved my uh, time there as the chief and as a law enforcement officer. Uh, going up in Hartzell was uh, the best thing that could happen to me. Yes, sir. And then what kind of inspired you to get involved in law enforcement? Well, as a young child, I enjoyed helping people, and I just felt the calling that this was what I wanted to do, and uh, went to college and graduated. After graduation, I began, became a juvenile probation officer, and then eventually joined the Hartz Police Department and stayed there until I ran for sheriff. So I, I enjoy serving the community uh, because that's what we do as servant as public servants yes, we serve our community and there's no better way to serve the community than to provide law enforcement to the community which they want and need yes sir i love that what would you say is the hardest part of the job well the hardest part for me uh, is you know policing around people that you've known all your life right. or that they have known you all your life so it's hard to uh, it's hard to make mistakes because they expect to be perfect sometimes and it's hard sometimes because you know, in policing, you know either the person or their family that you're having to either make an arrest on or work a crime with because they are a victim. So it's, it's very difficult when you know people closely and growing up in a small community like Hartzell, you knew everybody or everybody right. knew <laughs> you. So, uh, but I think even with that, that being the hardest part, the joy was because you knew people, you enjoyed helping them and you wanted to help them more because you knew them or you knew their family. Right. Yes, sir. Well, finally, with my last question, uh, what makes the Morgan County Sheriff's Office such a great place to be? I think we try to treat our employees like a family. Yes, we want there to be a family atmosphere in the Sheriff's Office. Uh, a lot of times we spend, well, not all, a lot of times, almost all the time, we spend more time together with the sheriff's office family than we do with our real families. So we just try to make it as family friendly oriented at work. We want them to be, we want our employees to be treated like their family. And so I as a sheriff try to treat them as a family member and we want to give them uh, what they need. Mm -hmm. And we try to make their number two family important. But it's not as important as their number one family, but we try to make their number two family, which is the sheriff's office, important. And I, I believe that because of the family atmosphere, we have a great department. That's awesome. I shouldn't say department, it's the sheriff's office. Yes, sir. Well, I believe that's all of my questions I have for you. If maybe I didn't ask something that you might want to add. No, I think you're good. I'm good. good. All right. <laughs> well, if you're watching at home, come on out tomorrow at 9.30 to the torch run at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. You're not going to want to miss it. Uh, T-shirts for sale there, and you're going to want to give Sheriff Ron Puckett um, a run for his money. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great rest of your day. Sheriff, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah.